Right now, training is pretty much just to maintain fitness so that when and if a race happens, we can, you know, um, ramp up the intensity, but also, you know, keep some fitness going into next year when it really counts and everything might be a little bit more back to normal. that you know that heal use you know what like what should you focus on you, do you know like do you have something like focus on maybe overdoing the down push or like really feeling like there's Depends an angle what, what context you're in right yeah. high cadence low cadence but particularly when you're talking about changing your I think I did but first thing. for I me think. it was like uh, like 200 210 and then like 205 so it's different but I wasn't taking The middle one was the really best though. Yeah. <laughs> Depends what you're used to. Sometimes you get used to when it's too high and then when you change it it feels strange but you can It's probably the correct it might be, it might be. Yeah. The hardest session of the week is usually when we have a hard swim and a hard run afterwards. I think my legs always feel like jello when I go into Really, even if it's a hard bike session after the swim, I really struggle after a hard swim. So I think it's good to you know, train your body so that you know what you're capable of even when you're tired, but I always hate that feeling post-swim. My least favorite session is usually the swim, just because I come from a swimming background and I've done it my whole life. I think I'm just a little burnt out from it. 20 centimeters higher up. <laughs> yeah. How tall are you? 160? What are you? 170? You are the same as Vince. I asked him. <laughs>
my favorite session is usually any type of run with run workout with speed work. Uh, typically, I love Saturday sessions just because, like I said before, there wasn't any swimming before. I don't swim on Saturdays, so um, yeah, I love I love Saturday runs. <laughs>